Hello guys, it's Remus here bringing you a quick video about the Leak Director tool. So Riot just released this app, it's similar to the Skin Spotlight's Creator Suit. So I think in a way it's easier once you get used to it and what you've seen before were all shots from there and you have quite a lot of options, maybe not as many as in the Creator but it's pretty simple to use once you get the hang of it. Only works on the PBE so far and uh, it works in replays, you finish a replay, you play it, you start this program and I'm going to show you how it looks. So you have to open it after you open the replay and you have a lot of options over here. You can control the camera in many ways, as you can see you can do the FPS camera so you can move it around with your mouse and keyboard as you please. And lots of options about the camera, movement speed and where it rotates and all that. You also have lots of skyboxes that are already incorporated in it, which is pretty damn amazing. So many options and all of them look pretty damn cool. Many are color only, so you have color black, blue, green and so on, but the other ones are pretty interesting skyboxes. My favorite is the full moon one, I think. And you also have one for night, one for snow, one for freljord and variations of those. This one's for sunset also looks pretty nice, but it's a bit blurry on the edges. It's not really HD. <laughs> And you can also rotate them up and down and insides and also modify the radius. And you can also play around with the sun direction. I think that's how the light comes in and it should also affect the shadows. Then you can also activate the fog that makes it look like that. And you can also modify where it starts and where it ends. You also have height fog. You can also change that. It makes everything... Uh, darker on the ground considering how low it is and you can also modify that where it starts and where it ends at the lowest and highest height point. You can also activate the depth of field and also change its circle so how much it blurs and how far and how much or you can also do it for near objects if you want to blur in the near ones and keep the ones on the distance clear pretty cool settings, you can make lots of nice trailers and cinematics in this, I mean that's what they use for cinematics, so it's pretty damn cool. You can also have the debug which looks pretty spooky to see clearly how the depth of field activates or to film a black and white movie. And apart from the rendering settings you also have visibility, you can enable and disable elements of the UI, everything from the scoreboard to the frames to the minimap timeline so you can change it directly in the game, you can skip whatever you want and same for the health of champions and minions and everything like that if you have the UI activated you can hide them or show them like you would in a normal game as well and you can also hide environments which is pretty interesting to see below the map Look at that. And you can also hide characters, just have the particles showing up. And you can also hide particles and you can just stare at the skybox. Then you have the recording settings, you can record directly with this. Or you can record directly with the program, so you do the settings that you want in there in the director and then Alt tab back into the game and start recording so you can record directly with the application or normally as you would. Both options are fine, though it's probably easier if you have two monitors to control everything on uh, one of them and see what actually happens on the other one and <laughs> look how it looks behind the map. That's pretty weird. See, the world is flat. And you also have key bindings for everything you can set up to control the camera, to have sequences, keyframes, jump skips and enable and disable all the visibility options. And here you can also control the timeline, you can increase and decrease the speed, you can jump at the start of the game or whatever you want in the game and have multiple sequences with keyframes, those are a bit more complicated so those are really not that beginner friendly but once you play a bit with it you can get used to them or you will crash the game like you will see I will here very soon 
but you can add things to start at certain times, so if you want a sequence to start spinning around a character at one point, you can set that up to also change the skybox if you want, or the sign direction, or you can crack the game like this. Look at the poor shopkeeper and its mount over there. <laughs> So sometimes this happens if you play with the timelines and set something up and go before the game begins. It will loop this over and over again. So to fix that you have to jump forward and even more weird stuff can happen like this. And it can also happen with the characters. <laughs> so be sure if you set something up you just put the time where it begins, how you want it to blend and the value, negative or positive. And it should begin. But it can also start going at the beginning of the game and something like this will happen. Look at that poor Akali. She's very flexible right now. <laughs> See, because it's at minus two minutes, so it's before it began. So that's what bugged it. But yeah, you can play around with lots of options here and create some really cool shots for trailers or spotlights or to check abilities or to check effects or to check skins even better check them up close there's a lot of things you can do I mean that's how I did my m music videos when I did them the parody music videos a while ago and I used to do shots like this for spotlights and other things and I think I'll start again now that you also have those nice skyboxes that's my favorite part of this the integrated skyboxes I don't think the creator spotlight had them integrated the creator suit had them integrated like this and this one with the moon really looks amazing and look at those bugged little minions over there imagine playing the game like this in third person or <laughs> having a battle royale game mode where you play in third person you can actually see and you can actually see the sky that would be pretty fun the sky boxes are really cool and it's weird that we only see them in trailers or when you record scenes like this. But yeah, those are the basics of the application. I will link below if you want to download it. And if you have more questions, shoot me. And enjoy a few more shots of what I've made here so far. I'm still learning how to use it. It's It just came out, so I just learned the basics a bit and trying to let you know if you are interested in using this. It's a really cool app and I think if you're a creator you should try and use it, at least for some videos, increase the production value a bit. But yeah, that's it for now, thanks for watching, let me know what you think about this application and if you want to see more about it, and if you have ideas for videos with it, I really like those skyboxes, so we'll see. Again, thanks for watching, I will see you soon, bye bye.